So how do you start a side hustle that costs very little to get going? You don't doesn't need a lot of money to start it. Uh, you can it allows you to travel and go anywhere in the world, and uh, you can do a side hustle from maybe your phone, or it's it's not going to cost you a lot to get started. What could you do? What could you do? Well, there's a good story. And this guy, his name is LeBlanc, and he has 2 million followers now, but it wasn't always like that. He originally started off with just a phone and 25 bucks, and he went to Thailand with, he had very little, like 25 bucks. Now, that is extremely risky what he did, but it worked out for him. Uh, maybe, but you could do some sort of thing that's not quite as risky. You could maybe gradually work your way up to this. So what he did was, he went to Thailand, and he was looking for ho he went to places to stay like hostels and knocking he was knocking on doors and he would um, offer them a review on the hostel he, if he could stay there for the night so he maybe got like eight no's and one yes and then he found a place to stay and then he would do post the, his experience on his YouTube channel and then he'd and that's how he uh, now that's a very cheap way to travel I don't think it's a great way to go but you could do a different version of what he did was you could maybe save up a little bit first, start building a travel niche now on social media, start talking about places you want to go and start mapping it out and planning it and documenting the planning and document the whole process of getting the visas and, and where you're going to go and all that and keep doing your day job to save up some money and wait till you get a nice pile of money and a nice following before you attempt this. Um, because, you know, <laughs> being stuck in a foreign country, 25 bucks is so risky. But anyways, now the guy's got like 2 million followers. He's been on, um, a couple TV shows and, um, and he does, he does travel blogs. He makes these travel blogs about different places and he travels all over the world, but he doesn't have to be just about travel. You just, you could, but being a social creator is probably one of the most freeing things to do, uh, because a... Um, it costs virtually nothing to get started. You're only limited by your imagination. And if you can start to grow a following, you know, you can do anything with that. You got a following, you can monetize it so many different ways. You can do affiliate marketing, you can do uh, blogging, you can do, you can sell different products, you can make your own product. Uh, like there's just a million directions you can go with it. So getting back to the original question, what can you do that allows you to travel and costs very little to get started being a social creator? Just learning that skill and learning how to make great content that people want to watch would be uh, a great a great starting point. So that's what I would say about that because it costs nothing to do and it could blow up and be uh, a super success like that guy. So and there's tons of people every day that they have very little followings and then they get these huge followings they never expected. So that's all I have to say about that.